Hey guys, I'm Dr. Connor Tobish with Whitefish Chiropractic. Winter is coming, which means ski season is right around the corner. And if it's been a while since you hit the slopes, we highly recommend doing some things to get your body ready to get back into skiing. When we're talking about skiing, three really important things are gonna be good balance, core stability, and strength and stability in the hips. So next up in this short video, I'm gonna show you some simple exercises that you can do at home to improve each of those so you can perform better and avoid injury. All right guys, for this first exercise, we're gonna be working on balance. So you're gonna be planted on one leg while the other foot is gonna tap and come back in three different directions. So you'll get down into a slightly athletic stance, then you'll go out in front, tap, come back. Off to the side, same thing, out and back, come back. So initially you can just do it on the ground, but if you wanna add some challenge, you can give yourself an unstable surface. And that could just be a household item, you could be standing on a couple pillows or a couple towels, whatever works. But get yourself your unstable surface, and then it's just going to be the same thing. So plant it on that one leg, and then you're tapping in your three directions. So out in front, come back, off to the side, come back, out and back. The big thing is just that we're maintaining balance and keeping the knee tracking between the big toe and the little toe. I'd work on doing a couple sets of 10 in each direction. All right, guys, next up, we're going to work on a bird dog for core stability. So to get set up, you'll just be on your hands and knees. Once you get there, the emphasis of the exercise is going to be keeping your spine nice and straight. So once you get there, you can pick up an opposite hand, opposite leg, kick them out straight. Hold that position for two to three seconds. Come back to the start position. If that's a little too difficult, you could do one limb at a time. So kick one leg back, hold for two to three seconds, then return, then you can move up to your other limbs. Whichever works best for you, shoot for two sets of 10 on that one. All right guys, the last exercise for today's video is gonna be a dynamic side bridge. This is gonna work on some hip stability, but you'll feel your core as well, so you'll get two birds with one stone. To get set up, you'll be on your side, propped up on your forearm with your knees stacked on top of each other. You don't wanna be sagging down here, so tighten the core a little bit and keep this nice and straight. Next up, you're gonna bring your hips up, then we'll open up the top leg and arm. You can add some movement if you want, but hold this position for three to five seconds let everything down, rinse and repeat. Shoot for a couple sets of eight to 10 on that one. 